Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and we are back at it today. And this is gonna kind of be a cross between two videos, between the Transit Takeover and then also, if you guys haven't seen on our SEMA build, we are building a Polaris Razor 1000 Turbo S, which is awesome. And these are all the parts that we went and picked up from Cageworks. This is the cage and the roof. We're gonna take this out, but more importantly, what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the seating configuration in the Transit. All right, so as you can see, I do not have very many seats out here. If you've seen the beginning of these videos, you know that I took out the first row or the whole rear row just to be able to have storage. I gotta be able to put the stroller and all the kids sports gear and all of that in there like probably most of you family people have to do with your transit. Now, in order to pick up all of these parts, I also took out another two rows. Now, I've been thinking, and one big complaint that my wife, Rachel, had was the lack of space in the entryway over on this side. So, I got to thinking, why don't I take one of the, this would be the second or third row seats, and since the mounts look to be all line up in a row. I'm gonna try putting a two seat actually up here in the front, giving this entryway just a little bit more space. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Let's try it out. So the kids obviously make a huge mess out back here. So I guess I might as well do a little house cleaning while I'm here. hot in here all right so now the fun part let's see if this sec this third row will fit in the second row boom even if I take this car seat and put it over here now no problem a child can still sit you know right here on the end but what I think is gonna be nice is when I put the next second row back in I'm gonna have even more space to be able to get in and get out. And I know that that's a big thing because what it really comes down to is the kids getting in, they got their backpacks on, and they're just like trying to squeeze around each other and it was really difficult. So I'm happy, you know, I dig this. The real question is, is the boss gonna dig this? So maybe you've been thinking, maybe you didn't even, never thought of this, or maybe you're like, man, I wonder if that would work, but man, that'd be a lot of work to do. It was actually pretty simple. There you go, guys. So this is our transit takeover. I guess I gotta give the van back to Rachel. I've had it for, had it for a while, putting this lift kit on it. I didn't wanna give it back. She wants it back, it's time. See you guys later. What's up, YouTube family? I'm back which you know what that means. It's transit takeover. Now, it has been a really long time since I've done one of these. Why? Because the hubby says it's my van, yet he takes it literally every single day. We lifted it, which if you guys saw, I'll put a little card up here. Well Tech Designs now has a lift kit for the Ford Transit. We added wheels, tires, we took some seats out. It doesn't look like the Amazon Prime van anymore. It looks like the cool mom van, soccer mom van van that I wanted so let me show you guys all right you guys there it is doesn't it look so much better look why does how nice it look I know doesn't it look better why does it look better lift. it's got really nice methods okay you like it Charlie you, you like it chocolate face yeah did you just eat a cookie yeah yes you guys this is the ultimate soccer mom van right here. Now let me show you guys the inside so you could see what we did. I didn't like how when you first open up the van, you have that seat right here, right? Because I literally feel like the kids were like struggling to get in and I'm, when I have to put the baby in the car seat, I literally am just squeezing in. So now we lift the baby up here. She goes and gets into her car seat. We have all this extra room. I could change diapers. Kids can get in here if they need to like change clothes for practice. We got soccer practice going on. We got horseback riding. They got room to play in here. We have all this extra room for activities. <laughs> 
So the one thing that we will be changing is we will be moving the car seat. We weren't sure if we wanted to have the baby right here in the first seat or on the farthest seat, but what we are actually going to do, um, we're going to put the baby back under here. Because she was just getting way too hot over by the window. I think because the heat from the window and then if you'll notice the AC vents are all the way up here at the top, so it's just blowing straight down, not blowing over there. So definitely don't recommend putting the car seat against the window. Plus it's always safer to have your kids towards the middle of the car anyways. Is that gonna work? All right, so then the last thing that we definitely need to do is we need to add some steps to the car because you could see as I was trying to get the kids in the car, they can't climb up themselves, so I always have to help them. Like, I could jump up, get on my knees. You could do it just fine, but little sisters can definitely not, so mom's gotta help put kids in the car, take kids out, so we're definitely gonna be adding, so what is it, rock sliders? Rock sliders. Some rock sliders to the van. What else do we need to do? Um, this thing needs to get clean. Well, yeah, you guys have trashed this thing. It definitely needs to get clean. Um, um, and then we'll show you, oh yeah, we also took some seats out in the back, so there's more room in the back too for the stroller. All right, so you can see we also took out this back row seats. For all you moms that go to Costco, you have a stroller, you have double strollers, you have baseball bags, soccer bags, you need all that extra room. So take out that very last row of seats. I got my big old Bob stroller, jogging stroller in here. Still plenty of room for groceries, so highly recommend taking out that seat if you're gonna be grocery shopping and doing all of that fun stuff. All right, that's a wrap. Hope you guys liked today's video. Let us know down in the comments, you guys might be into it. What else should we do? What else do we need to do to make this like the perfect mom van, right? And I think you guys should also check out uh, Growing Up Garage on YouTube. It's my channel where I teach kids about like tools, cars, and racing so uh i think that's all we got so i'll see you guys in the next video bye yeah.